What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rick Von Ball coming at you again with yet another classic. Now if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm making sure I cover each and every NBA game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis as well as my opinions on these games. Get into the game. The Toronto Raptors versus the New Orleans Pelicans. <laughs> um, somebody wanted to tell me what the hell is going on. Uh, Toronto flew into uh, New Orleans and they started eating some of those beignets and having some of those mint juleps. I don't know what the... Bro, from beginning to end, the Raptors was getting they ass kicked. Before I get into the Toronto Raptors, I just got to talk about the New Orleans Pelicans and the trades that they made. And C.J. McCollum, he's already paying huge dividends for the for the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. He's fitting like a glove. He's a three and D guy. He's actually a three D mid range type of guy. He shoots efficiently. Everybody knows about C.J. McCollum. But what was the problem in Portland is that him and D Damian Lillard are one and the same player. He's coming over here to these New Orleans Pelicans. He dropped 23 on the night. He looks extremely comfortable. Uh, yeah, that looks like a nice trade that can work for them. If they can somehow, some way, get a call up to Portland where Zion Williamson is, we having that uh, we're having that injury, and get his ass back down here, they can have some. Toronto Raptors, you know you're going to be in trouble if you only got three points from OG Ananobi, five points from Scotty Barnes, and six points from Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr. has been lighting their ass up. He, the other night, he scored 42 ski. You cannot have no six points from Gary Trent. He had two threes only. That is not going to do it. You still got your uh, your 20, 23 points from Van Vliet, and you got 18 points from uh, Pascal Siakam. But you can you cannot stop that onslaught tonight. That came from the New Orleans Pelicans. They they were whooping your ass by twenty and thirty all night long. Which this is a really an inexcusable loss because you really had your full roster. You had Van Vliet, you had Pascal, you had OG, you had Scotty, you had Trent Jr. Like you had Boucher. You should not have been lo losing like this. I know the damn new, the Pelicans are not that damn good. So this had, this had to be a classic uh, type of trap game that the uh, Raptors probably thought they was going to go in and just roll the Pelicans, just completely roll okay, Go over some numbers. Let me give you a little context of what I'm saying. The, uh, the, the Raptors shot 30% from the field tonight. Pelicans shot 58% from the, from, from the field. Yeah. Raptors shot 23% from three. The Pelicans shot 45% from three, three. I mean, they just lit their ass up. Offensive rebounds. No, nah, offensive rebounds. Uh, the actual Raptors won that battle. But, uh, yeah, they just got their ass beat tonight. Raptors got a nice ass whoop, but, but, they, but they've been passing out a lot of ass whoopers to, uh, this year, too. So you can't get too down on the Raptors. This was just a classic trap game. You guys already know who it is. It's your boy, Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Woo!